Okay, I'll continue this. Yeah. Uh, this is uh, the crayon says what, which you can get in ebook form under my pen name of Ramit Ramsey on Amazon. It's Kindle. But here you get to see it for free. You get to have it read to you for free. Okay, I'll continue this thing here. And many will say in, th in that day, Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied in thy name? And in thy name have cast out devils. And in thy name done many wonderful works. Right. And apparently they thought their works would save them. Instead of relying on what Jesus did on the cross uh, when he, Jesus, made sense of all those sin offerings and blood atonement described in the Torah. All this book given to Musa. And then will I profess unto them, I never know you. Depart from me, ye that work iniquity. That's Matthew 7, 21 to 23. The word quote iniquity and taught in quote used by Yeshua in this passage is better translated as lawlessness. According to Angel, if you're working for your salvation like a Muslim, your righteousness is as filthy rags. There's no way you can save yourself, no matter how many Lord Lords and good works you have done. Your righteousness has to exceed the righteousness of the scribes and Pharisees, which is impossible. Thus you have to be totally dependent on the blood of Jesus Christ to make your perfect to make you perfect in the eyes of God, to make you holy. It has to be through a supernatural means, not of yourselves. And the only way to do that is to accept the work of what Jesus did on the cross. This is where the writings of Paul come into play in the Angel that is, quote, uppermost in today, until the day of resurrection. See the Quran for, uh, see the Quran saying that there. And, yeah, until, yeah uppermost in the day of resurrection, and um, they aren't lost. Therefore, Yeshua was saying, quote, you, you that break the law. Yes. Yes, sadly, to end my note, that is exactly what the vast majority of professing Christians do and teach. And Muslims. Sorry to you, Christians. You missed the true meaning of my beloved prophet, Yeshua the Messiah. The Messiah. Messiah. Your Yeshua agreed with Allah. Your Yeshua agreed with Allah to secretly and cowardly avoid the cross, creating damning Christianity if Islam is true, and the sin offerings described in the Torah is only just Allah being bloodthirsty for torturing innocent animals for nothing. According to the Quran, the Torah is, quote, all this book given to Musa. If so, what's all this talk of sin offerings and blood atonement in the Torah if Christianity is false and Islam is true? Ten stories of incest in the Bible. We Muslims take strong exception to what them as words of God already. We Muslims take strong exception to accept to accept them as words of God Almighty. How is reports of incest in the Bible mean the Bible is not the word of God? Where in the Bible, even the Quran, does it say if a book reports incest, that book is not of God? Where is the criterion for that? Islam is based on reason and on pure teachings of other prophets of Allah. What is the reasoning for believing that if there is it, what is the reasoning for believing that if there is no water for ablution you can use clean soil? Where is the reasoning that you need to wash your nose out three times to get Satan out of it for him sleeping in the upper interior? But where is the reasoning for believing the sun seeks asks permission to rise again after it sets? Where is the reasoning? that the earth is on the back of a giant fish. You sure that Islam is based on reasoning? Not contain, contaminated with paganism or corruption. If so, then why do Muslims bow to the same black stone pagans we're bowing down to? Why do you circle the Kaaba like the pagans did before Islam? Why do you believe the bones of a fetus form first like the pagan Greeks believed before Muhammad, uh, before Muhammad, uh, writes in the Quran. Allah sent all the prophets for the guidance of mankind. If so, then why do Muslims complain 
that you can't understand the Quran if it's not in classical Arabic. All prophets were humans and, 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 and every one of them is a righteous example for the entire human humanity. You think you think that's true with the first part of Quran 424 that allows you to have sex with someone's wife if she's your, your right hand possessed slave? Because they were humans, they could do mistakes, not sins. So it was a mistake that Muhammad parked a nine-year-old. It was a mistake for Muhammad to burn Kiana, uh, Kanana, Kanana, the Jew, to try to find out where Kanana was hiding his money. It was a mistake to use camel urine to those with fevers. However, the Bible is full of this degrading stories about many prophets as if God had sent the wrong paper for our guidance. Which part, which, which of the prophets of the Old Testament burned someone to find out where he was hiding money or porked a nine-year-old after marrying her when she was six? Which prophet had an old lady, um, Kerfa, pulled apart by camels for not liking what, not, not liking that the prophets, uh, for not liking that the prophet, uh, yeah, for uh, pearl to her part, not liking that that uh, pro the, that the prophet uh, slaughtering her town, bad writing, her town and, and family like Muhammad did, with, yeah, with Umkurf as re reenacted in the YouTube video, the innocence of Muslims. By the way, Lot in the Old Testament is not considered a prophet of God to Christians nor Jews, and just a righteous man who was saved out of Sodom and later corrupted by his daughters. How much time do I have left? I've got time. No Muslim would dare to write a book and stamp, stamp the prophets of Allah, Allah's blessing be upon, peace be upon Allah, with paganism, rape, adultery, prostitution, or incest. If so, if so, then how come the Hadith does that with Muhammad? If not paganism, then why do you bow to the rock, the same rock the pagans bowed to? If if not rape, then why? Why the heck? What's the matter with me? Why, why did Muhammad allow it for his companions, as described in Sunan Abu Dawud 2250 and Muslim 834-32, in which, in their report of how the first part of Quran 424 was handed down? Ditto for adultery and prostitution with all of Quran 424, which is basically, quote, paying the lady and can be prostitution when you know a Muslim can then divorce her by saying, I divorce you three times. How is that not the allowance for prostitution, O slave, the best deceivers? By the way, it's the Torah that talks of Lot with his daughters. You are to believe that since the Torah is, quote, all his book came into Musa. Still, I don't see how a report of rape or incest means the Bible is not the word of God, nor even of Allah, nor even the, the word of Allah. Where in the Quran or Bible does it say that? You know, that, uh, now where does it say that uh, if a report of incest means that uh, the Bible or is false? You know, where? Let's see, how much time do I have left now? I still have time. They all have the re respect that they deserve, if so. Then how can you be a Muslim when Mo burned someone to find out where he was hiding money or parked a nine-year-old after marrying her when she was six? How can you be a Muslim when Muhammad personally slit the throats of hundreds of Jewish boys and men for not submitting to Islam? How can you be a Muslim when Muhammad came up with the first part of Quran 424 and how it's reported handed down in Dawid and Muslim Hadith that allows for rape and adultery with non-Muslim women? How can you be a Muslim when Muhammad had an old lady pulled apart by camels for complaining for, uh, the, for the, uh, quote, prophet, quote, slaughtering her town and family like Muhammad did with Umm Kurfa, as reenacted in the YouTube video called The Innocence of Muslims? 
the, pro the subject of Prophet should not be approached as such. Yet Islam does with Muhammad due to what it says he did in the Hadith. How come he gets to have nine wives, and, or, or actually he had like 14 wives, and you only get to have four? If you are Jewish, Moses is the only good example, and if you are Christian, Jesus is the only example and savior. Actually, if, if in the Injil, Jesus is for all mankind. As a matter of fact, even the Quran says Jesus is all for all mankind. Don't believe me? Well, check this out. This is Quran 96, 92. Okay, this is Quran, this is Quran, uh, Surah 21, verse 91. Yeah, 21, Quran 21, verse 91. And here's the Arabic. And it says, And she who guarded her chastity, this is concerning Mary when Allah was about to breathe, blow into her farja, her vagina, to get her pregnant with a son, Jesus, of whom Allah desperately denies fathering. So we breathe, we, that's all the talking, even though shirk is the works of sins. So we, big capital we, Allah, breathed into her of our spirit, our spirit. And we made her and her son a sign for all the worlds. I feel this should be kept in the, quote, clear signs book, Quran, where it goes along with St. Paul that Jesus wasn't just for the Jews, like the Muslims believe, but for all the worlds. And this is uh, Pixel coming up here. Now, do I have time to read Pixel? I better stop it here. Bye.